Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Lightyear movie Zerg's Mothership from the Hyperspeed series, released by Mattel. If we get into it, let's take a closer look at the box itself. Here, here we have the Hyperspeed series logo, just torn up, shove it on the front. Measures 50 centimeters slash 20 inches long. Comes includes a, a drop pod and a Zyklops figure. License sounds, adult assembly required. Spark Hogan skin, the tail logo. Here, let's find out more. The Pixar Lightyear, Zerg's Mothership. That's this picture right there. It's the bottom, my barcode. And so I got the Disney Pixar Lightyear logo. The other side, just you can open up, they can store figures inside. And the drop pods, you can drop them. Disney Pixar Lightyear, Zerg's Mothership. The top, you got Buzz again. It's a picture of your Zerg's Mothership. The content say includes back view. It's a picture of your Zerg's Mothership. You got the same description as all the other stuff. Uh, you know, Australian Charm Plan, Buzz, Lightyear's Fuck Rates, telling you to battle hostile plans, giant bugs, and the ultimate threat Zerg to complete their mission and return home. It's the sounds. You got the, the link and scan again. Recycle clops, pods, press for lights and sounds, ready for battle. So you can do you got some warnings, shows the R ones in hyperspeed series from way one you can collect. Complete your fleet, hyperspeed series. I do have all these, I which I will compare later in the video. So now let's get this opened up and take a closer look at it. back from unboxing it. So the contents we get Zerg's Marship, the tail fins and stuff which require assembly. You can drop a drop pod, a Cyclops figure that's the same as the the two pack release it's with two drop pods and two Cyclops figures. So you get the instructions. Oops. These ones aren't important. They're just a bunch of multi-language and stuff information. Here's the assembly instructions. Like I assemble the tail fins and they insert the batteries. See so how like how you assemble the tail fins on where they go. How you change the batteries. So now we're gonna assemble this and put in the batteries, and we'll be right back. Here we have Zerg's mothership assembled. Now before we get into the mothership, we'll take a closer look at the Cyclops figure on the drop pod. There's much to say, really. The drop pod is pretty much the same as the two pack release of the Zyklops with the drop pods. It's the same, basically the same one where you, you drop it and it opens up. Cyclops figure is, you know, pretty much the same as well. It's articulation, arms move, legs can move. So yeah, pretty much the same. Taking a closer look at Zerg's mothership, it looks really nice. You got a nice purple color going on. Got some dark red as well. You got some lime green here as well. You also have some black gray. At the bottom, you got the retractable landing gear, which folds away. Like most of the air hyperspeed series vehicles have. There's the battery compartment where the batteries go. It takes three AA batteries. There's the on off switch, the speaker. Roll. Here's the thrusters in the back that light up. On the top you also got the buttons. These two trigger the, the trap door with, that makes the drop pod function. And this one activates the, the lights and sounds. So press these two buttons, it triggers the, both the drop pod functions. So these doors open up. There's also a hall down the side where you can fit the drop pods in. It only comes with one, but if you have the the Zyklops to the drop pods, that two pack, you can fit two of them in here. All right, I guess we can get demonstrate the drop pod function now. That's it. The drop pod function, you just take one of the drop pods, insert in here. There's kind of a, a gap in here, so like, so these, these flame parts, make sure one of those goes through there. So insert it like this, close it up, and I will demonstrate it. 
That's the wrong one. Yep. So that's how it works. You can drop the drop pods just like in the movie and you have to reveal the Zyclops. So it's just like in the movie, which is cool. Also, it's both sections up, up in here as well. So it's just hollowed out inside so you can store like figures inside, like this Space Ranger Alpha Suit Buzz. Here's a Zerg figure. And then we can fit them, like the Zyclops, and then we can fit figures inside there. So that's nice. You can store like like figures like that or Zyclops inside. And I'll demonstrate the lights and sounds. And turn it on, there, there's the on and off switches. The on and off switches in the bottom. Circle means off, the one means on. Takes three double light batteries. So switch, switch, turn it on. There, whenever you turn the Zerg's Marship on, the, the thruster lights will blink the back of the sides turned on. There's blinked. So I'm push the button here and demonstrate the lights and sounds it has. I think it's all of them. I think it makes like four or five or six sounds. Now, these ones are crossed all live right. These ones on the top and bottom kind of, yeah, these kinds on the top and the bottom part kind of live a bit dimly. So that's the lights and sounds it makes. It has like four or five or six sounds. The ones are crossed live brightly. The top and bottom ones live a bit dimly. Let me turn off the lights real quick so you guys can see what it looks like in the dark. I got the lights turned off, so now I'll show you what it looks like in the dark. So that's what the lights and sounds look like. The backlight will look a bit whitish on camera, but they're actually green. For size comparison, here's the XL15, the Junior's Aperture Armadillo, and Zerg's Fire Ship, and also Space Ranger Alpha Suit Buzz, Cyclops, and Zerg for a size comparison. You can compare them side by side. The Mars Ship is probably the biggest one in the Hyperspeed series. It's probably bigger than the Junior's Aperture Armadillo and Zerg's Fire Ship. So I think the scaling is really nice. Uh, these are this one's small, these are bigger, and th this one's massive compared to the other two. So overall, I think it's a really good ship. And if you're a fan of the Hyper Speed series, I would highly recommend it. Some complaints people have are that the the tail fins, when you insert them, some of them are loose. Yeah, not really for me. Always make sure when you assemble it, you read the instructions because the tail fins have numbers on them, so they're numbered. So you know, that tells you where they go, which slot you insert them into. So make sure you read the instructions before assembly. So if you want to pick this up today, I got mine off Amazon for around $30. I think around 34 35 36 or 37 It was on sale. It's really good overall. I don't know when it's going to hit retailers. Maybe later this year, probably. For now, it's only on Amazon, and it's also available at at entertainmentworth.com. 
I think it's also available at Smith's Toys as well. So, I really hope you enjoyed this review. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and feel free to leave a comment below down in the comment section. If you want to see more reviews and content, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see y'all next time. Have a great day.